As the brand ambassador for Chanel, Kristen Stewart certainly knew how to make her presence felt at the iconic brand's Beauty House pop-up event in Los Angeles on Wednesday evening. Not only did she cause a stir when she had a rare reunion with her Twilight daughter Mackenzie Foy, the personal shopper star also took the opportunity to express her interest to star in the upcoming Charlie's Angels reboot. Guests at the Chanel party included many famous faces such as Cindy Crawford, Tessa Thompson, Billy Loward, and Reese Witherspoon's daughter Ava Philippe. But it was when Stewart, dressed in a chic black and white ensemble, posed for pictures together with her Twilight co-star Foy that caused much excitement at the event. Besides the fact that the two actresses looked so good together, the reunion was rather timely as 2018 marks the 10th anniversary of the release of the first Twilight, which shot Stewart to fame. Foy was only 10 years old when she started playing Renee Smee, the daughter of Stewart's character Bella Swan and Robert Pattinson's Edward Cullen in the Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn Part 1 and 2, which were released in 2011 and 2012 respectively. Now 17, the former child model is almost as tall as her Twilight mom who is just 10 years older. Since Twilight, Foy had starred in other films such as Interstellar, 2014, and The Little Prince, 2015. Later this year, she can be seen opposite Kira Knightley in The Nutcracker and The Four Realms. Needless to say, the reunion made many Twihards deliriously happy judging by their reaction on social media. Kristen Stewart wants to be a Charlie's Angel. In the same evening, Stewart also took the opportunity to reveal her hope in starring in a new reboot of Charlie's Angels that will be directed by Elizabeth Banks, Pitch Perfect 2. Stewart has been linked to the Sony Pictures project since last September, and it appears that the Californian native is all for it as she tells E.T. in an interview that she would love to do it. I hope that that comes together. You never really know that you're going to be making a movie until you're, like, standing on that set. I'm an enormous fan of Liz Banks and I think that she's the perfect person to tell that story in this era. I would back her absolutely all the way. The film is based on the 1970s hit TV action series that made household names out of Kate Jackson, Farrah Fawcett, and Jacqueline Smith. Featuring the adventures of three female private detectives who work for an unseen boss named Charlie, the franchise was successfully remade for the big screen in 2000 and 2003 with Cameron Diaz, Drew Barrymore, and Lucy Liu. All things considered, the premise of Charlie's Angels seemed to be rather light-hearted fare for the actress who has recently opted for more Arthurs and indie films in her film career such as the 2016 horror thriller Personal Shopper for which she won much acclaim for her performance. The 27-year-old, however, felt that Charlie's Angels, if made right, could make for a good female empowerment film especially in today's cultural climate as she explained to E.T. The movie should still be fun, but if you ground it and make it about women that really know how to help each other, it'll be perfect to release now. We're all together and strong. Until she receives the green light for Charlie's Angels, Kristen Stewart is not resting on her laurels. Seen earlier this year in Lizzie, a film about the infamous 1892 Borden family murders, the actress will appear next in the literary drama J.T. Leroy and the action thriller Underwater. Besides being the face of Chanel campaigns, Stewart has also added director to her resume. Last year she made her directorial debut with the dramatic short film Come, Swim which went on a film festival circuit. She also directed the Downside of Me music video for Scottish band Churches.